the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video abacus short division example 384 divided by 6 in this example 384 divided by 6 6 is the divisor and therefore let us set that in the extreme left of the abacus the dividend 384 should be set in the right extreme of the abacus that is the digit 4 is set in the units column 8 in the tens column and 3 in the hundreds column the digits can be set in the reverse order too first setting 3 next 8 and finally 4 let us start the division operation now the first rule is to decide where we should set the highest digit of the quotient the rule is that when the divisor is larger than the first digit of the dividend then there is no need to skip a column on the other hand if the divisor is less than the first highest digit of the quotient then we skip a column in the problem 912 divided by 4 we skipped a column in setting the quotient whereas in the current problem 384 divided by 6 there is no need to skip a column because the divisor 6 is greater than 3 which is the highest digit of the dividend 384 when the first digit of the quotient is smaller than the divisor naturally we have to take the first two digits for division operation so let us ask how many sixes are there in 38 by saying 6 let us set the quotient 6 to the immediate left of the number 3 and subtract 36 from dividend now we get 2 as the remainder now we are already for the next operation and in this case too the divisor 6 is greater than the first digit 2 of the remaining dividend 28 and therefore the next digit of the quotient should also be set to the immediate left of the number 2 by asking how many sixes in 24 let us say 4 and set that 4 in the quotient area that is to the right of 6 and then clear 24 now the remainder is 0 therefore 384 divided by 6 is 64 and there is no remainder in the next video let us take up a problem which has quotient and a remainder as well